Planned Parenthood is at the DNC. They have a truck out there and they are doing live abortions for free. According to Planned Parenthood, as of end of day today, Tuesday, they will have done 25 abortions. I just want to pause for a moment. 25 human beings, sons and daughters, children, sacrificed at the DNC in the name of abortion rights. Devastating. Planned Parenthood, the biggest abortion chain, gets a half of a billion dollars from taxpayers through politics. They are extremely influential among the Democrats. I think about the pagan rituals of child sacrifice. It is not just your body, there's another human life present. How is it my right as a woman or as a mother to kill my child? I do not have that right. Abortion has played a pivotal and visible role at the DNC this week. Why exactly is it that they don't trust women? Well, we trust women. He calls it a beautiful thing. What is so beautiful about a child having to carry her parents' child. Delegates I spoke with said abortion will be key this November. In 2019 in Massachusetts, you could not get an abortion after 23 weeks. I made the very, very difficult decision to have to travel 10,000 miles to another state to get an abortion. Women have grown so used to having their rights that not having them all of a sudden is, oh my God. Even if it's not on the surface a men's issue, it is a fundamental human issue. We have a potential that it could be fully banned. It, it just all depends on what happens with the election results. to ban abortion nationwide. Oh, he will. You know, Kamala and Tim will do everything they possibly can. That's why you have to elect a Senate and the House to restore Roe v. Wade. Taking away our freedom to control our bodies, the freedom to become a mother through IVF like I did, Abortion at the forefront of the Democratic National Convention this week, both inside the United Center in Chicago and on the city streets. Planned Parenthood of Illinois brought a mobile bus offering free chemical abortions, free vasectomies, birth control, and more at the start of this week. The pro-abortion organization says it's a demonstration of what they define as health care. A pro-life presence did make itself known right next to the bus to combat the false narrative of choice. Your baby loves you. You don't have to do this. This is not your only option. Your baby's heart beats for you. They love you so much. They feel everything you're feeling. They can feel how scared you are. We know that you're scared, but it's going to be okay. We can help you. A group called Progressive Anti-Abortion Uprising, or POW, held signs, chanted, and used a bullhorn to reach out to women considering an abortion and offer to help get them the resources they need to choose life. The Democrats for Life of America also challenged Planned Parenthood's political grandstanding by offering free diapers to Chicago families in need. On Twitter, Kristen Day, the executive director of Democrats for Life of America, wrote, Providing free abortions at the DNC is a concerning display of disrespect towards human life and motherhood. She goes on to say, quote, It's just shameful how low Democrats have sunk. SBA Pro-Life America is calling the 2024 Democratic Party platform the most pro-abortion platform in history. They say the Democrats make promises of national legislation to allow abortion in every state, enshrining abortion with no limits in the U.S. Constitution, expansion of delivery of chemical abortion drugs through the mail, and efforts to force ER doctors to carry out abortions, to name a few. The Illinois Right to Life organization is also speaking out about the pro-abortion stance of the DNC, calling it an anti-life and anti-family event. In a press release, the president also called out Chicago Archbishop Cardinal Blaise Supich for delivering the invocation prayer on opening night. Mary Kate Zander wrote, The Harris Walls ticket is the most pro-abortion presidential ticket in U.S. history. Cardinal Supich missed a clear opportunity last night to condemn their vile, murderous policies and, in effect, betrayed the vibrant pro-life community that he once aligned himself with in our state. Cardinal Supich's opening prayer focused on uniting Americans. He said in part that we are united by our aspirations of life, freedom, justice, and unbound hope.
He did not, however, make any mention of abortion or the Planned Parenthood clinic offering abortions outside of the DNC. We're different from the president. We're very discreet, reptilian, cold-blooded. These are the races we have to win. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Very interesting. That's why you can have different people like Oprah Winfrey rooting for abortion. I mean, these are the people that we used to look up to when we were younger. Crazy. You do not have autonomy over this, over this. If you cannot control when and how you choose to bring your children into this world and how they are raised and supported, there is no American dream. The women and men who are battling to keep us from going back to a time of desperation and shame and stone cold fear. They are the new freedom fighters. And make no mistake, they are the best of America. You do. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I've lost. I've lost it at this point. The amount of wickedness that goes on inside of these people to try to switch things around and call evil good and good evil is mind-blowing. They try to put it in the context of us wanting to control women when, when all we're doing is wanting to save the lives of babies. You see the switch? You see how evil that is with inside? It's, it's a wicked agenda that's hitting in the disguise of people that you're used to loving, people that you're used to seeing. It's hidden in them. And we wonder to ourselves, dang, is that why they're so famous and so big? Oprah Winfrey's a billionaire. A lot of these people are millionaires. They're the elites that we've been seeing all our lives growing up. And yet they're all on the same team right now. Talking about abortions, talking about trans rights, talking about the LGBT. They're all on the same side. The same wicked agenda, the same evil disguise, putting it behind a mask, using big words. Health reproductive, health reproductive program. What in the world are we talking about here? You talking about changing a little, a little dude to make, making him a little, a little girl? Like, what is going on here? What, where have we come as a society? I'll tell you where we come. We've moved so far away from God. We took God out of the schools. We took God out of everything, pretty much. And without God, separation happens. We step into separation, evil comes up. And starts taking over things. Clearly, it's taking over a lot of these people's hearts. It's sad when you actually see it. A lot of them are being sealed in the beast. They're being sealed in the beast. Their mindset is beastly and their works are beastly. They're truly being sealed in that nature. It's scary to see when you actually step back and take an take a actual look. From the outside in. It's 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 frightening. But I want to start with this headline, which completely breaks my heart. It completely is a just a devastating headline coming out of the DNC. Let's pull up the article. This is from the New York Post. Some of you guys may know Planned Parenthood is at the DNC. They have a truck out there and they are doing live abortions for free at the DNC, handing out chemical abortion pills to start forced the starving process, starvation process for a developing baby and then a forced miscarriage. 
And according to the reports, this is the New York Post reporting here, according to Planned Parenthood, if you can scroll down here, Franco, you'll see the Planned Parenthood uh, lead at the truck is saying that they have done, as of end of day today, Tuesday, they will have done 25 abortions. I just want to pause for a moment because with all of the political rhetoric, all of the chaos, this is a news article about 25 human beings, sons and daughters, children, who are being sacrificed alive at the DNC in the name of abortion rights. Because the reason Planned Parenthood is there is to make a political statement. They're there because Planned Parenthood, the biggest abortion chain, gets a half of a billion dollars from taxpayers through politics. They are extremely influential among the Democrats. And the Planned Parenthood has a, an abortion truck at the DNC to make a political statement, and they are doing abortions at the DNC. They have now done 25 abortions, 25 children, innocent human beings whose lives are being ended at the DNC. And this is done as a political statement. I think about, I think about the pagan rituals of child sacrifice and bringing your baby to the idol to, to pledge your allegiance to your idol, to your God, and you sacrifice your child. Child sacrifice, you talk about, we think about that in, in the Christian tradition, the Old Testament, and how God uh, looked with such anger, righteous indignation at the spilling of innocent blood as a pagan ritual. How is this any different? But the idol here is politics. The idol here is this false idea of freedom, women's rights, how is it my right as a woman or as a mother to kill my child? I do not have that right. They say, my body, my choice. When you are pregnant, there is another body inside your body. It is not just your body. There's another human life present that deserves rights. The right to life is the first right. Devastating. This is a spiritual battle, guys. This is a spiritual battle. This is satanic. You saw what happened at the Olympics, the opening ceremony, the mockery the abject mockery of Jesus Christ at his last supper, the LGBTQ agenda present, all of these drag queens mocking the Lord and having this presentation. They said, oh, we weren't really mocking the Lord. Well, the lead actor at the Olympics who was in the opening ceremony, one of the drag queens, as they're called, said on, her inst said on his or her Instagram that I was Jesus in that. They knew what they were doing. I think that this is a spiritual battle and Satan, I think, knows that he has limited time and limited reign on this earth, and they're not even hiding it anymore. The, the child sacrifice, the mockery of faith, it's not even hidden anymore. It is out in the open for everyone to see. I see some people in my timeline on X. I have a tweet about this uh, reporting on what the New York Post has reported, what Planned Parenthood has themselves said. They're, they've killed 25 babies so far at the DNC. And some people are saying it's, it's not real. It couldn't possibly be real. How crazy, how insane people who don't wanna believe that this is true because it's so horrible. It is true, it is happening and we can't look away, we need to know. And we need to know, share this truth, and of course we need to pray. Pray for conversion, pray for revival. All right, a few other things you need to know about happening at the DNC right now. I mean, this is an abortion bonanza. Here's a clip of abortion pills, uh, activists, pro-abortion activists at the DNC dressed up as abortion pills to promote killing babies. Turn the sound up here. So you see, these are activists that are there to celebrate abortion at the DNC. They're literally dressed up as an abortion chemical pill that is designed to kill babies. Almost 60% of all U.S. abortions, so there's almost 3,000 abortions a day. Over 1,500, roughly, of these children killed by abortion in the first trimester are killed via chemical abortion pills. This is the latest data that we have. And they're dressed up as the abortion procedure, marching through the streets to celebrate abortion. Remember this whole thing of, oh, oh, we don't celebrate abortions. We want abortions to be safe, legal, and rare. This used to be the, the talking point of Hillary Clinton back in the 90s with the Democrats. We want abortion to be safe, legal, and rare. This is no longer the case. It is now abortion without restriction. We'll parade it through the streets, perform abortions at our political event because we pledge allegiance to abortion. 
We pledge allegiance to ending the life of a human being as a core part of our political identity. This is what the Democratic Party has become. It's horrific. Another clip here. This is Planned Parenthood passing out merch at the DNC, abortion girly. It's not even about women anymore. It's not even about empowering women. I mean, they used to use this language, this euphemistic language, these false words. Now it's just saying, I'm an abortion girly. It's just, I'm all for abortion. It's not even about my future and my rights and my hope and my dreams. It's just about abortion now. It's, it's bald. It's in your face. Here's a statue. Here's a statue of an IUD that has been an inflatable IUD that has been set up outside the DNC by activists. I'm, what kind of a view of women is it that your whole idea of womanhood and women's empowerment and women's rights is sticking something into the core part of your body that makes you a woman versus a man, your womb, to make it inhospitable and inhabitable for a human being, a new life, because motherhood is that horrible to you. That's, this is, and also that you demand sex without any responsibility, so you need your birth control. This is, this is the, the bald presentation of the ideology on display at the DNC. Motherhood is not a burden and a threat Motherhood is not, parenthood is not something to be mocked or belittled. That's what they're doing here. They're belittling the, even the idea of pregnancy. They're belittling the idea of, of a core aspect of what it means to be a woman that we can bring life into the world. That's being belittled here. It's being mocked. Okay, one more, one more thing at the DNC we're going to do. Two more things we're going to show you. And I'm sorry, I hate to be the bearer of this news, but some people are saying this isn't happening. They're saying this isn't true. This is fake news. It's fake news that... The Democrats have gone so radical in abortion that some you know, conservative talking point. This is not about conservative versus liberal. This is about what's actually happening right now at the DNC and every single voter needs to know. I'm going to take a quick uh, look at the chat here. Catherine is saying, I've heard multiple people say that they're going to be doing an abortion on stage. I mean, I, I, they are effectively doing an abortion on stage because they're staging abortions outside the DNC. And, and let me just remind you, the chemical abortions that they're doing live at the DNC right now, these chemical abortions can take up to two, three days. And sometimes the aftermath is weeks. And it basically forces, it kills the baby through starvation, and then it forces a miscarriage. This can lead to intense bleeding. It, for In many cases, it leads to emergency room visits for these women. We're talking about women who are now at this political convention that are going through abortion procedures and they're gonna be bleeding, sometimes they pass out. I mean, there's a lot of complications that can happen. And this is what they've turned, they've turned the DNC into that. I mean, I think people don't really realize what these procedures even entail. Another um, comment is, is, folks are saying we're praying, this is satanic, yes. Um, here's a comment from EM saying, pray the rosary, yes, we need to pray in response to all of this. <laughs>